We're back now at 743, and this morning on Today Investigates, home security with burglaries on the rise. How well is your family protected? Consumer reporter and Reader's Digest contributor Janice Lieberman is here with an easy way, and way too easy way, for a thief to break into your home. Janice, this is scary stuff. Very frightening. This is a simple tool. We are purposely not revealing the name of the tool and are leaving out the details in this report on how it actually works. But it is a threat that we feel is crucial to expose so that you can can better protect your home and your family. It's the first thing you think about to secure your home and family, your lock. Much to my surprise, Mark Tobias, attorney and world-renowned security expert, showed me how very quickly my house could be broken into by a special master key. This is a standard five pin lock. There you go. This quick and easy lock picking technique is used when opening a pin tumbler lock. A threat because 95% of us have those locks on our doors. By bouncing the pins for an instant, you create a condition where the lock is really unlocked if you turn it. This is a specially cut key. We're going to stick it in the lock again. We're going to take our little hammer. With the tap of a special tool, the key transmits force or energy to the bottom pin tumblers in the lock. They then make the top pin tumblers move. And for an instant, they move apart, allowing the key to turn and open the lock. That lock is open. That took you a second. Less than a second. As seen in this actual burglary caught on tape, an estimated 2.1 million burglaries occur nationwide yearly, and that number is rising. But there's no real way to tell if this special master key was used. Generally, you don't leave any trace. There's no indication of entry. So why alert the public to this vulnerability? Tobias decided it was crucial to expose the dangers. If you don't talk about it, it doesn't make the security threat go away. It just means that you as the consumer don't know about it, but the bad guys do. But are these special master keys illegal? Yes and no. Uh, the post office is making trafficking illegal. Um, they can be considered as a burglary tool. Are they inherently illegal? Not really. I mean, they're, they're just like any other key. Jamie Fight, mother of four, felt her house was secure. She agreed to let our security expert try to break in. You got in. I can't believe it. I got, I'm shocked. I thought it was very secure. There's two locks there, the one on the bottom, and my locks would tell me the double from the top was the best thing that I could have. Didn't take you very long, and this was a hard one. No, that's why we thought everybody ought to know about this. Otherwise, you would have had no idea about your vulnerability. Security experts advise not relying on one means of protection. You need a good lock, an alarm system, good lighting, and concerned neighbors who will help you out and watch your house. If 95% of the locks out there are vulnerable to this technique, talk to me about some of the 5% that are not vulnerable. Okay, so when you go to shopping for a lock, this is what our security expert likes. He likes this quick set, which is under $100, available at Home Depot and stores like that. But there's also high security locks like that Medico, which is more expensive. What I advise is talking to a locksmith. Ask them for for a way to buy a lock that is not susceptible to this type of burglary, which we're not saying what the name of it is, but they actually label it as such. What about auto locks? You're safe. Th they don't use a pin this? and tumbler lock. No. Okay. But this is very scary stuff because it's available on the internet just like for a couple bucks. All right, Janice, thank you very much for passing along the information.